with necromancy coming out, I decided to do a little camping with Abyssal Beast as it was pretty good XP towards my weight, 200 mil necromancy. So with that, let's look at the loot from 10,000 Abyssal Beasts, which did take me a little, about 25 hours worth. And right here, let me scroll down a little bit so you don't see those other items I have gotten right. One more. And you should be able to see, there we go, the 10,000 Infernal Ashes. And for this loot video, I will not be counting the cooked sharks that they drop, just because you won't be actually picking them up and keeping them. So. First off, we did get 3175 Crimson Charms, which is fairly good, but look at the green wall spikes, almost 15,000 of those. And also 116k Pure Essence, which is very good, because with Necromancy, you do need a ton of Pure Essence. So, on average, you can expect to get about 4 thousand six hundred and fifty eight pure essence hourly now if I scroll down a little bit this right here the rune spiky salvage your spring cleaner will break it down and high out it but I did get the physical item from it now if we do scroll down a little bit the same thing with the huge bladed rune salvage which of course my Spring Clear did break that down, and I picked up almost 30 mil cash. And I'll just scroll down a little bit more. Don't worry, you will be able to see the item soon. And then right there, the Onyx Bolts E, 4,177, which is extremely good. There is one issue I did have, and that was a small bladed Ori Kalfum Salvage. I did not pick them up as my spring cleaner automatically high out them so for that I do have the raw cash in that form we'll scroll down a little bit now keep in mind I did hit the soft cap of 50 elite caskets in which case I was able to get four master clues which is pretty good in my opinion and of course you do get the rare drop table like raw lobster the spirit ruby soft clay and then five dragon helms which again i did not pick those up because it's pretty much like rng now the crystal triskeline keys i did get a total of 10 which i did pick up and right here i did get one jaws of the abyss in ten thousand kills and right here this is the amount of charms I got from the 10,000. That is 864 gold charms, 497 green, 3,175 crimson charms, and 170, 143 blue charms. So, let's take a look at the price check now. In which case, Again, I was killing them in the Personal Slayer Dungeon because it's very good and they spawn very quick compared to doing it in the Wilderness. So, time for the price check. There is a couple of things to note and I will be putting all the high alchemical items which include the Onyx Bolts, the Huge, and the Large Salvage. And again, I did get 578 of these small blade salvages, but my spring cleaner automatically converted it to 28 million 900 K. So just the high alcohol's worth is 111, well pretty much 112 mil, but this if it if you sell it in the very exchange. Now we'll take out this raw cash for a second and if we convert it to, let's say, you're an Iron Man and you're high alchemy them. Now, these three items is about 83 mil. But if you do high alchemy, you'll be able to get 
99 mil on top of the 29 mil cash that we did get from the rune I mean the 40 calcum salvage so do keep that in mind it is worth a little bit more just because it does high out now with all those high alcohols gone let me take the 30 mil cash pretty much that I got and now let's do a price check again so the total price check let's see here. okay there we go so this is the 10,000 Inferno Ashes which is pretty good I mean it's very cheap and a good method for prayer so I might be making a little prayer guide on that because prayer is fairly cheap now thanks to necromancy crashing all the bone prices and then again like I said we can take out that small salvage since I just have that raw cash right there and then look at that 116,000 pure essence the herbs aren't too good nowadays but I would have loved if it was like seed drops that would have been amazing so I'll scroll down a little bit and the jaws of the helm is crashing it was probably about 6 mil before necromancy came out and afterwards everybody in the world has been doing savages and beast for training method is it's very afk and you'll see that i now have 58 mil cash that does include the high alcohol 40 calcum and the raw cash i was able to pick up which it's pretty good it's almost 59 mil cash now if we do break this all down into gp per hour and this is if you are not high alking the items so on average you're able to get about 9.5 mil gp per hour again because this did take me a little over 24 hours because sometimes i would die from not overloading and then i would sit there for like four three minutes until i lobby which was quite annoying but you are able to get about 408 kills hourly doing this which the GB per hour is very good and you're also getting some great necromancy experience and with that thank you all so much for watching this loot from 10,000 abyssal beast if you do have any recommendations on what monster I should farm next please link down in the description for your comments and stuff and make sure it's something fairly enjoyable because I would not want to kill 10,000 cows because I mean they only drop the bones the raw cowhide and the beef which would not be really too good for a loop video but don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below and enjoy the rest of your day